Hi everyone, let's continue macroeconomics and here we are going to discuss the components of the macroeconomy. Components of macroeconomy means we are talking about how many, whether we are circular flow of income and output diagram in two sector economy, three sector economy and four sector economy. We will discuss one by one. But before starting this, first of all, you must understand what do you mean by economy. So economy can be pictured as a schematic of closely linked sectors like household, business, financial institutions, governments and foreigners. So a change in one sector's transaction with another sector will trigger change in entire symmetry. Then we come to the, the sector flow of income and output diagram that would show what would be the flow of income from one sector to another sector that shows the income received and payments made by each sector of the economy. So let's one by one we will understand this is two sector economy. Two sector economy means we are talking about household and business firms. Business firms, those are producing, those are manufacturers, those are providing goods and services. These are firms and business, business and firms. Household means those people are, they are either, they are providing in terms of labor, land, capital, entrepreneurship. That means they are creating factor market. And simultaneously, what they are doing, you can see labor against labor, what they are receiving, they are receiving wages. Land, what they are receiving? Rent. Capital, they are receiving interest. And entrepreneurship, that means they are earning profits. So inputs for production, they are giving in terms of factor market. And against this, they are getting all these things. So income flow from business firm to factor market, I mean, reaching towards household. Next, we come to the goods and services. So business firm, what they are doing, they are manufacturing any good. Let's say we are taking example of toothpaste. This business firm, they are producing toothpaste. And this toothpaste, that is, we can call it product market. And these toothpaste used by all those households, right? They are giving payment. They are making payment. And finally, what they are doing, they are getting this product. So goods and services movement towards the household, but income movement that we had reflected in the, uh, the, the color of the brown color. And this one is the orange color. That is the goods movement, goods and services movement. You can see that is factor market and product market. They are giving their factors of production. These are services they are giving in the form of labor, land, capital, and entrepreneurship. Here is income movement you can see product market whatever the goods and services they had they are producing so they are paying them when they are purchasing this particular toothpaste or soap or and shampoo or any kind of product they are spending so this is the household income is moving towards the product market and in the form of revenue that is reaching to business firm and again, business firm, what they are doing out of these revenue, they are paying to these factors of production, means in terms of wages, in terms of rent, in terms of interest, in terms of profit. And this is the financial sector. You can see in the financial sector, we can see saving and investment. Household, whatever they are saving they are keeping it in the financial sector and from this financial sector that is the investment going towards the business firms let's say we are keeping an example of uh, those are the those are the people they are earning income so suppose they are earning 50000 rupees per month but, but they are not spending 50000 rupees per month so they are spending only let's say 30000 so 20000 they are saving so they have to keep this in the bank and bank, if suppose they had kept all this amount, they are earning interest. And this amount, these banks, they are giving in the form of the loan to the business firm or to the investor or whosoever they would like to get this loan. So next we come to the three sector circular flow. Three sector means we are talking about only three sectors. We can see in the three sectors, let me explain you. This one is the entire diagram. This is the three sector, household, business firm, and government. These are the three sectors. There is no involvement of external economy, I mean, foreigners. 
there is no involvement of import and export. That is three sector economy. When we are talking about only these three sectors, household, already I had explained to you, business firm, those are manufacturer service providers and government. Where is the government? They are imposing any sort of the taxes, direct tax or indirect tax, GST, and the, and the government is earning revenue through this. Now we can see factor market, what would be the income movement? We have already seen business firms, they are giving in terms of wages, rent, interest, and profit that is reaching towards the household, right? Household, they are purchasing these goods and services. Oh, against this, they are paying and through product market, through consumption spanning, that is reaching towards the business firm. That is the flow. And we can see financial market, if we will talk about saving, they are whatever they are doing saving. And that is saving. That would be, they are taking loans and in the form of the investment they are doing in the business firms or in, in any other form also. That is just a one example. Then is government, household, government is imposing direct tax. Direct tax means income tax, property tax. These are direct tax. If the government is imposing these taxes on them and they are paying this tax to the government. So revenue, income movement from household to government. But government here is whatever is government is they are purchasing, right? Government expenditures. Government is doing expenditure to these households in the form of like they are making parks, they are making bridges, they are making roads, all these things that is the government expenditure and that is reaching towards the household in the form of government expenditure. So at the time of labor, if they are working for the road construction or bridge construction and all these things, so this labor would be getting all this money. So government is transferring this money to the household. But when we will talk about what would be the relationship between government and business firm, yes, what would be happen? Direct and indirect taxes. Government is imposing these direct and indirect taxes, right? What we can call it nowadays in our country, that is GST, right? They are corporate tax. They are paying corporate tax to them or in the form of indirect tax, they are paying GST to the government. So income flow from business firm to the government. But government expenditure towards the business firm, let's say this government is ordering, let's say, 100 computers they would like to install in their organization. So they are making an order to business firm to install 100 computers in their government organization. So government expenditure means whatever the payment against these 100 computers they are paying to this business firm. This is just an example. So I hope this is clear three sector circular flow. Next, we come to the four sector circular flow. That was missing. External sector was missing in three sector. And in the two sector, both these external sector and government sector, that was government, that was missing. So household here is, we can say, household, business firm, and government. This part is clear to you. But External sector means we are talking about beyond the political boundaries. That means we are talking about foreign countries. So in the terms of foreign countries, we can see here is household export of services. Export of services, they are, I mean, these services they are taking. And against this, you can say, suppose export of services, when we are doing export of services, the so receipt from exports, income will be reaching towards this business firm. But when we are doing import something, right? So there is the, we are importing something. Let's say this organization importing some technology or some goods from external, that means from some foreign country. So they are doing payments for imports to the external sector. And remittances, those people are giving their services to the this external sector or this external economy. They are getting remittances against these services. So this is the four sector, external sector, government, business firms and household. This is the four sector circular flow. So I hope this video is clear to you. All these three sectors are clear to you. 
right and in the next video we will discuss some more concepts like these are the concept that one is also the, the, the three market arenas like household firms and governments and the rest of the world all interact in the goods and services labor and money market so that is you can see household means goods and services market here is labor market right and here is money financial market. So all these things I had explained you, four sector circular flow, three sector and two sector. I hope this video would be helpful to you. So keep watching. Stay tuned. Thank you.